Hey guys, Wins here. This is gonna be a quick update guide on my low life PC miner that I've been working on. This is a Scion, but um, you could definitely do it as a Sabo. I highly recommend Sabo as a miner as a miner build because Sabo has a huge quality of life that gives you mine lane speed, mine army speed, everything to do with mine is a lot a lot more smoother. The only reason why I'm Scion is because I kind of want to cheese Uber Elder, not really cheese, but Guardian gives you 20% maximum life over one second. That works with Zillow's Oath. So while you're kiting and running around, you get 20% uh, recovery every five seconds. So while you're kiting the ads, while you're running around, you get some kind of form of regen, while Sabo only gives you regen if you throw a trap or detonate a mine recently. These are the things that you don't always get. Hold on. All the time when you're running around because you gotta lay down or throw traps. So you could completely do this with Sabo. I already killed Uber Elder, damage is fabulous, and um, the clear speed is pretty similar as a life mob. And your survivability is much higher. You have at least 8k ES easily, and you could push it to 9k to 10k ES depending on the build, depending on the tree, and depending on your items. Now, just to, I'm gonna show a quick demonstration of maybe, let me see which one I have. I guess I'll just do a, uh, um, Chimera run. <clears throat> but to be fair, this is a an expensive build. This is nothing, nowhere near a budget build like a life mom build. But this is something you could definitely uh, try to uh, uh, go um, try to achieve for if you really wish to um, push your miner to the complete end game. Like mine over matter life could get five k HP, two k mana. Uh, or 3k mana, no problem. And you could easily um, go kill Uber Elder. I know a lot of people who did kill Uber Elder this league with um, life, life variation, but um, a lot of people are complaining or a lot of people are telling me that survivability, especially Uber Elder, is not that good, not that optimal, you know, nothing like the RF build, for example. But this is something that gives you a lot of effective health pool. And you got a lot of regeneration coming with your mind, and the and then you put enduring cry, and enduring cry is also not good option for life though, by the way. And then you get the guardian regeneration, but if you're Sabo, you don't have the guardian, so you have to rely on mining a lot. So in Uber other fights or fights that need high sustain, just keep on laying down your mines, even though there's nothing to really attack, and just detonate your mines. So uh, this is a bright pick right now, just for uh, clear speed. So you just kind of zoom through the maps. Uh, you have pretty high, you have a pretty high effective health pool, and you have um, you have a high region, so you know you're not as squishy as you know, other uh, the mud life build, for example. And uh, if you are Sabo, I highly recommend to get Line Node. Instead of the explosive expert, I realized that the damage for PC miners is already really high, as it is. So you don't you do not need more damage really. So I highly recommend blind node. The blind node will help you uh, blind enemies, blind around people around you. Um, Scion variation gets twenty five percent chance of blind on hit, which is fine too, but you don't get the blind aura, or nearby enemies are blinded. Um, the damage is very, the damage is a bit higher than life build because of the cantonment, but usually life builds can get away with dual wielding stat sticks and the damage is amplified, but this build requires a shield most likely, unless you want to drop down to maybe 8k, 7k ES, you could dual wield a whirling blade, that's fine, but I do not enjoy that playstyle as much. So I'm going to be using a spell crit, E as shield. So everything here you see is um, almost end game tweak, I believe. And there are a few more upgrades I need to make myself, but this character feels pretty good. I played this all last night, I killed over Elder four times. Um, so learning the mechanics, I couldn't really do a deathless per se, but somebody who knows the mechanic can definitely um, do a deathless no problem. And um, this is the statistic swap, and obviously Kong effect swap, the Sander swaps.
All right, so while we're waiting, just quick free update. So it's the same build, almost like everything here is uh, very similar. You just get, uh, I'm using my the Meek here to get more crit multi nodes, more attack speed, more ES, more mana reservation, and more mine damage here. And then uh, I'm using two Long Winter and Energy from Within. I'm using a Pure Talent. Pure Talent here gives me 25 stats. 0.5 crit base. I start from um, Templar, so I get 5 penetration and I get 0.5% maximum mana uh, recovery because of the Witch. So, this actually does a lot for us for this build. If you are Sable, you do not get access to Templar, which is fine, it's just 5% just penetration. And then I'm using a Watcher's Eye that gives me Copen and Max and ES based on. This. I just got this yesterday. I was killing Uber Elder just fine without that. So I was 8k ES. This is 9k ES. So that'll be something you would achieve for in an end game goal, but you do not need that. You just need a water sign with hatred. Uh, most likely crit. So the damage in my hideout, I believe, is 57k. I have a lot of penetration, right? From uh, like the jewels and a lot of and a lot of penetration from like five percent here, and my tree gives me a lot of penetration. But yeah, it's um, probably is really easy. I think nothing really difficult. You could you could almost face tank paper laser beam if you keep on laying down your mines. I, I tried it yesterday. It he took me down to like thirty percent HP, but he he died, so it was okay. And then, um, so my hideout DPS is 58k, but uh, I'm using this one because it's attack speed. I realize that attack speed is very important for Uber Elder fight, because uh, shield charging without attack speed just felt terrible, especially in that room. Like, there is like no way to, the, the, the area is like very small, so I had a lot of issues there. Prior to that, I was using a self crafted dagger, alt regal this, and then multi mile spell damage craft multi. Uh, with that, my DPS is 65k hideout, this is uh, 58, but I'm, I'm going to be using this one because the attack speed is very important for my older in my opinion, until I learn the mechanic 100%. Now, let's get down to the gear. So again, this build is expensive because Shav, 6 link, well, 6 link itself costs a lot, so Shav is pretty cheap in softcore, like 50, 70, 70s chaos, so it's not that expensive, that's not that expensive actually. If you have a 6 link um, paper chest, 6 link carcass, 6 link belly, 6 link barrel's chest, they probably will for more than that, or very similar. Uh, presence of Chayula is actually expensive. I think this was around 8 exalts, just for the blessing. Um, it is much more rare this league because we don't have breach. So you have to, you kind of need this for low life build. Without this, your ES is uh, pretty low. And you need the sun immunity anyways. So I don't recommend low life without this amulet. The helmet is important here. You need a shape hubris helmet with remote mine that gives you additional mine placement. We've talked about this earlier in my guide. Um, I recommend any shape helmet with a remote mine, craft life on it, craft resist on it, boom, done. But for ES build, the base matters. We need hubris, at least a hubris, like maybe a mine cage, but, or some uh, T2 ES base hybrid. But definitely a hubris, and if you and what you want to do is alt regal until you get the remote mine additional mine placement on. It's actually pretty rare, maybe one in two hundred or three hundred, five hundred alts, and then you just want to alt regal it, or um, don't even aug it. You could because you could do a block and just regal, and if you get a bad mod or bad suffix, try annulling it until a one step mod. And then you can multi mod it, put a resist on it, and then put flat ES, ES percentage, like I did right here. That will give you basically a 220 ES helmet, which is fine. Yeah, and then you could put in another suffix, a prefix, sorry. You could put like a life. Life is not that bad because life is uh, used for clarity reservations. So you could reserve a higher clarity. You could regal, and uh, you could put mana. You could slam it for maybe like spell damage. Uh, ink AOE, you know, some kind of shaper prefix too. So, th those are the ideas. You definitely want a helmet chant 
The best install would be 40% converted, but I didn't get, I don't have that. And then if you do have 40% converted shaped hubris, you could drop uh, two long winter and go for DPS jewels instead. Uh, your typical shape stack here, like double extra damage, red multi, area damage, spell crit, spell chance, uh, spell multi, uh, crit multi, and spell damage, like something like something like this. Obviously, the area damage if there was spell crit would be more ideal, but any double damage with uh, like you're looking for a four to five stats, right? Two extra damage, crit chance, crit multi. Spell damage or area damage or damage penetration and any five step mod would be an ideal end game. And the shield you're looking for maybe two AVES with resistance with spell crit, like eighty percent spell crit minimum. We're using dream fragment because you are CI and we are getting chill and frozen constantly, especially if you use taste of hate. If you use taste of hate, you're gonna get chilled and frozen by physical damage heads. So um, Dream Fragment is very important, also helps you with your low mana pool. Because you're not a Savile, you, you don't have the 25% less mana cost. So my GC cost 135, if I was Savile, it would cost me maybe 100 mana, and that would be a lot easier to maintain. As you can see, my mana pool is not that good. Yeah, I've already, I already ran out, and my mana, my mana pot is uh, you know, helping a lot, but it doesn't feel as smooth as Savile would be. The yeah, other ring is just going to be ES, resistance, you don't really need the damage, you just go for anything that gives that you need uh, remaining here. The belt here, you just want ES, crystal belt, or you could go for stinging belts or the darkness and throne if you have two good jewels with resist to fill out your resist cap. I made a one with hysteria, self-crafted here, I just, um, just went with this, I worked with the belt. And I work the wrists around it. You don't need a penetration, of course. You could just go for any stinging belt, or you could go for a crystal belt. The gloves here, I crafted this myself too. Um, you're just looking for a high ES 180 with dexterity to fill out everything you need. I crafted aspect of the crab. We are using aspect of the crab for this build. Aspect of the crab, if you guys don't know, is that every stack you get you get a stack every 0.5 seconds up to 10 so it takes you five seconds to get full stack you, i think you get two yeah two additional um physical reduction per crab barrier when you take a physical hit you lose you lose everything so if some if like shaper slams me uh say shaper slam is pure physical and i had 10 stacks because i don't really get hit in the while dodging and then he i get hit by the slam i he actually does 20% less damage to me because of the physical damage of the crab. And then in 5 seconds, I'll get full uh, crab again. So this build is very defensive. So we have um, Aspect of the Crab instead of, as instead of other auras like Aspect of the Cat, Aspect of the Spider, or Aspect of the Avian. The, the, these are all offensive, but you, I went with Crab for more defense options. I don't like, I don't like the physical damage. You could just, it's a suffix, so you could craft it on any rare that has open suffix. Um, and here, we're just using Sintrack. It's a, it's a really high ES boots with a high MS. You don't need to use Sintrack. You could use a normal source source boots with um, ES and life. Sorry, not life, ES and resistance. And the penetration enchant is probably one of the best in slot for this build because you don't kill, because your mice kill for you. Another good one would be 1 to 160 at a lightning damage if you haven't killed recently. It's not as good as penetration. And another good one would be a 120% crit if you have not crit recently. Um, that enchant is not bad. Should be always up. Um, for bosses, for mapping, since you're shield charging a lot, you might crit a lot. Or you might be critting often when you run into packs. And then that will disable your boot enchant for 4 seconds. So that's the only problem, but POB DPS for penetration and 120 crit is very similar unless you are crit capped or have high crit. For example, if you have a crit hatred watcher's eye, or you have Pharaoh's chest and Pharaoh's helmet, or aspect of the cat, you know the crit the crit enchant boot uh, loses more value. In the typical flash, we have sulfur for more damage and also regeneration if you're standing still on it. We got taste of pain. 
uh, Quicksilver, Adrenaline, Diamond of Warding, and just Mana, Mana Pod. I would love to put a Series Promise here, but I can't fully give up Quicksilver or Mana Pod. I could probably drop Quicksilver for a Series Promise for like Shaper or a Zeri, but for Uber Older, the, the Quicksilver was pretty important. And right, I pass the tree here. So the tree for this will be very similar to um, a Sable. So you gotta start out here, you know. If, the, if any stable is out there, want to respect your low life. If, if you have the money, the gear, then go for it. It's no problem. It's probably be, it's probably better anyway. So I just want to try out the cyan variation because uh, to see if it's viable. So uh, earlier we mentioned mining the meek here, amplifying your ES, your damage here, your mana reservation here, your attack speed, and your crit multi here. Energy from within. That's a typical ES build. And then a uh, two long winter, a pure talent, and a uh, watcher's eye. And then uh, you, you are wanting Zealous Oath. So any you could build this tree a bit differently. You could go from top, you could go through the witch, um, whatever you want to do, whatever tree you want to go for it. Um, you just need, you need Zealous Oath. You need Pain and Tumor because you're low life, of course. And you probably need all the uh, trap and mind damage uh, or Mind placements uh, nodes and then um, just fill out the rest um, with whatever you want. So, this is a tree that I came up with. The tree will look very similar in Sabo. I will post the POB link for both Sabo and Scion variation. Uh, for Sabo, I think it's going to be actually the exact same thing. The only thing you don't have will be the starting side from Templar. I think I will still cross through the Scion here and just still get the Mind of Meek here, still get the Crit Multi here, a Sabo. So let's talk about this real fast here. So Sabo gives you AoE, not uh, a science Sabo. Now the AoE is nothing like a real Sabo's AoE. I noticed that a lot in mapping. The penetration 6% is not bad. The mine and trap regeneration is the exact same thing as uh, so a Sabo. You could throw traps if you really want to up to get 40%. And then a um, chance to blind enemies and hit. Now, if you're a pure Sabo, I recommend, again, blind over EE for safety. And then here, I'm a Guardian. The Guardian doesn't really give me too much. But, uh, I have four auras, I believe. I have one, two, three. No, I have three auras. So the Guardian will give me three physical reduction, 10% increase of my aura, hatred, discipline, clarity, you know, just, just a tiny bit of boots on its auras. And the next, the important part will be the 20% regenerated over one second. That's what I want for Guardian. Inquisitor would have been more, a lot more DPS, but I went for safety again. And the Conduit is whatever. And then uh, another pro of Scion is that you get one, two, three, four, five. You get five more skill points in the tree. This tree is very, this build or this tree is very point starved. And I'm only, I'm 93. And I really wish I could get unnatural calm. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I'll spec out these two nodes maybe. And so that's I need three more levels. So I need a 96 or 97 if I want to get the final one here too. So 97 will give me all the ES nodes that I plan on having. And my ES should be like around 9.5k with my current gear. But I need I need to level up. Now just to show this build and concept real quick. So you can see right here, the Guardian, where is it, there it is, 1800 for a second, so if I do Blood Rage, you can see the Guardian will kick in, give me the uh, ES regeneration I need, right, every 5 seconds. So, this is always on, um, this is this is like Guardian, but Guardian thing is 30%, so it's not as powerful as that, but you can see the reason why I chose Scion. Uh, obviously Sabo is obviously if you don't have this as a Sabo, but another good thing is you could just, uh, you know, definitely mines and get, get your regeneration going. You can see right here, I am at 1800 by detonating mines recently. So 1800 is my cap for mines. That's 20% of my ES. Um, aside from that, I think that would be everything for this build. I will post, I will put this on my build form thread and I will be updating that and I'll be tweaking this character more and um, fine tuning it. 
Um, Savile again, just clarify, it's fine. Go Savile. I prefer Savile. My, my, the my army speed, like, see this? It takes too long to detonate. Like, my muscle memory is already for Savile. So when I started playing this, I felt really frustrated and clunky because, like, I pressed my mind into my suit too early and uh, I could not detonate and I did not feel smooth mapping. So I, I prefer to go Savile. I, I don't like mapping with the Scion. It's, this is just for Uber Elder farming. Uh, I might tr make a Savile. I might respect my Savile to this um, after I'm done with this and then uh, try again to actually see the difference myself. But I'll definitely go Savile, guys. Or don't worry about it too much. You don't have to level with Scion. Leveling is painful with a miner. I definitely recommend if you want to go Scion to level with something else, get to high 90s or mid 90s, 95, 93, whatever you want, and respect it to a miner. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. That was my short, not short, sorry, not long video about my low life variation. Um, oh, one last thing. Uh, the reason I decided to make a low life variation was uh, my friend Nuclear. He t he talked about this build. Uh, he talked about how he modified my build into low life, and he's playing on hardcore right now, and he enjoys it, and he, he thinks it's really safe, and the damage is obviously phenomenal. So uh, when I when I heard about that, I started planning the build. He didn't share the tree per se, but he just talked about the fact that you go low life, and you know you can't really low life too differently so this is my take on it his take is different i don't i think his profile is hidden still so i don't know how he, his profile looks like so definitely try to make your own tree guys um if you are experienced enough you, this could just be a template you could definitely improve this i'm still trying to improve this myself um and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this this is an expensive build again not a budget something you can achieve for later on if you still like to play a gc minor Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll see you guys next time.